human beings to live forever in 30 years. Is this possible? And what is the uh, sort of metaphysical impl implications of this concept? So you're watching Afterlife Topics and Metaphysics with Cyrus Kirkpatrick, where we talk about life after death, the supernatural, metaphysical topics, and much more. And this article came out recently at the Daily Star, which is a UK newspaper. In fact, it was just published uh, uh, tonight, December 24th, by the way. Merry Christmas. Biological immortality, or more accurately, never growing old, has been studied by scientists who think it could be achieved with advanced genetic engineering, and it could be available within 30 years. Uh, this article's author predicts it would be available among the rich and famous, and uh, perhaps slowly leak down from there as we learn the biological markers of animals like lobsters who live for a very long time without aging due to the way their DNA is constructed. By the way, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. I'm counting on you guys to help keep this channel going. All right, to continue. So basically, this uh, article theorizes that it'll be celebrities and the kind of annoyingly rich people in society, the upper crust, who will first gain access to this. As this article says, you, we may see legions of Kim Kardashian types of people who are living till 200, 300, 400 years old before we see this technology leaking out to the public. Now, this article is very interesting for a number of reasons. Now, it is just futurism, it is just speculation, but I think there's something going on here. And let me explain why I think there's something going on here. Uh, before I do that, I'm actually going to close out of this browser window because all these flash ads, like it's going to probably wreck this video at some point. So let me just get out of this and open up a nice Christmas ornament graphic because I am making this on December 25th. And that's the least I can do. So Merry Christmas or Happy Non-Denominational Winter Holiday, depending on your politically correct preferences. And uh, so anyway, to continue, uh, the what the, the reason I find that article in particular to be interesting is because there's been a lot of talk about this possibility of being able to live forever and that maybe this technology already exists. But if this technology did exist, do you really think the powers that be would allow it to be released? Realistically, if everybody could live till 200, 300, 400 years old, it would cause serious problems to this planet. We don't have enough resources to be able to allow that to happen. So even if this tech did exist, you better believe it's going to be buried in some black project. But the reason that some believe that it may very well exist dates back to a few years ago. We had a guy named Corey Good who came on the scene and uh, he was followed by a score of other people, all claiming to be these deep state government insiders. Corey claimed he was a government empath. We have people like Emery Smith who claim that he was kind of a medical tech working on the above top secret levels. And all these guys, there's a lot of them, have claims to the effect that technology like this exists on the deep above top secret sort of elite level of society and among all of the people who do work on that elite level of society so this includes not only age reversal techniques but ways to cure almost any disease and uh, quite a few other technologies including free energy systems all types of things like that. All of it exists and is used basically for the enjoyment of the elite, but it's uh, kept hidden from the public. This also includes uh, contact with extraterrestrials and uh, sp advanced space flight technology. And that a lot of the UFOs we see in the sky are actually our own craft built here on this planet by corporations on this above top secret level 
and these pe people alleged these alleged people from that subculture have come forward in recent years to make these claims now one of the claims that Corey Good made specifically was that there's a division on this deep deep state level and maybe like half the people involved want this type of technology out in the public hands and they're tired of all of it being coveted being used for power and control and all the really nasty bad stuff that the kind of deep state illuminati whatever you want to call them are engaged in and they want all this technology to roll out but the problem is there's a lot of ethical considerations and a lot of issues that go with it as an example you can't just roll out technology to, to stop bodily aging when we're in a planet that's beginning to get stressed on resources and you have you know too many people polluting the oceans with plastic all types of problems so they devised a strategy according to these insiders um, called the partial disclosure strategy so essentially Corey back in like 2015 was saying that in the f upcoming years we'd begin seeing on the news on journals and magazines like Daily Star a slow rollout of information pertaining to advanced technology that they'll begin acclimatizing people toward and so this includes everything from free energy to this kind of stuff to the existence of extraterrestrials and a lot more and that we'd soon be seeing our media bombarded by this information as they slowly begin opening that door well what's happened since those predictions were made exactly all of those predictions that's what's happened so this was not like a trivial prediction this is literally what we've been seeing this time last year we saw that UFO disclosure stuff on the news with the Pentagon UFO research group we've been seeing free energy on the news we, we've been seeing uh, new technology coming out that may replace rocket engines and be silent uh, this is using some kind of ion propulsion thing I just saw that in the news recently um, now we, we're seeing the age reversal tech that these same guys were talking about a few years ago almost all the stuff I was watching a few years ago talking about rolling out this technology it's all been appearing on the news uh, in articles just like they predicted and the idea is it's going to keep doing that and slowly the real tech is going to begin to roll out and so over a course of time we're going to be adapted to all these changes as we enter into this kind of like high-tech sci-fi sci future and then once that once it's done we'll be will be acclimated to it and it won't cause damage to society now when it comes to age reversal I don't think this is feasible until we're able to get off world and be out colonizing other planets or terraforming planets or whatnot because that way we're not going to be strapped for resources but if you believe these people then in the next 30 40 years like it's going to be common knowledge and we're going to be out in spaceships doing that exact thing because they're they're rolling all the information out on this very um this very uh strategized uh, time span so you know 2019 we'll do this 2020 we'll do this 2021 we'll do this somewhere along the way they're going to allegedly supposedly reveal the existence of extraterrestrials all this kind of stuff it's really exciting if any of that's true <laughs> you know look I mean I'm an evidence-based guy I'm not going to begin planning my life around these ideas and unless like some some really solid stuff begins happening so it is something to be able to keep an eye on to keep 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 mindful about I guess one last thing one last idea I wanted to toss out there is that, you know we talk about like life after death spiritual topics on this channel and what are the ramifications of that if we begin seeing this partial disclosure rolling out this kind of technology well as I've said in a prior video about this topic if I had the option to stay on this planet and live forever or at least not forever but for hundreds of years I would do it because why not stretch it out I have a lot to do I have a lot to do on this planet so 
I'd like to make the most of it, but there's a lot of people who wouldn't want to do this. Why? Because we have a lot of people in our lives who we love who cross over ahead of us and enter the next density, enter 3.5 density, fourth density, whatever you want to call it. And they're living their lives over there, and then we want to go back to them. We want to live our lives with them, and not through like sketchy dream contact and out of body experiences. We really want to be with them. And if you're doing this tech, then there's going to be a lot of people in your life who are going to die. And by the time you're up to age 200, it's one of these kind of things where you have to be careful what you wish for because you might be at age 200 thinking about how badly you want to be with you know your husband or your wife or your your children what if your children don't elect to do this technology but you do and then you'll be outliving them there's, there's major psychological implications here especially as it relates to life after death um, even the even our friends the poor misguided atheist materialists who are brainwashed by various I, I would say deep state psyops at this point like you know the idea that nothing of that we talk about this channel none of the evidence that I talk about in my books is real those guys I think even they may not be on board with this because even if you die and the fate that awaits you is non-existence even that might be better than outliving your friends and loved ones so again major ethical concerns not just for people who believe in an afterlife but for just about anybody so this is all stuff to think about in relation to this complex subject but let me know what you think um, i guess that's it for this video again merry christmas if you like this again please press the subscribe button to help keep the site going if you want to get involved click show more on the youtube description and you can see links to my books afterlifetopics.com uh, the classes the very big and highly active Facebook discussion group, probably the most active uh, Facebook discussion group about life after death and these topics on the internet. And so that is something you shouldn't miss out on. That's it for this video, and I guess I'll catch you guys on the next video.